Hi guys, this is PinkyP75 here with episode 4 of my Let's Play. Um, just had to ride out into the right of the town and there's a whole bunch of trainer battles so make sure you're all healed up from beating Brock. I'm just going to finish off that Pidgey, take it out. Um, yeah, I'm just going to train mostly uh, Pikachu with a little bit of uh, Pidgeotto and just a tiny bit of uh, Butterfree. I don't want to um, make it so that Butterfree is super high because you do have to get rid of Butterfree as part of the storyline. And the other guys aren't, no, no one else is really important, like Feedrill is not really that important, I just wanted to catch him. So I'm just going to easily take out these uh, trainers here with Pikachu. See, I'm trying to plan it out a little bit so I don't waste all my Thunder Shocks. I'm going to Thunder Shock it and then I'll go and um, quick attack it or something. Just as long as I can make sure that it kills it. Because I don't want to waste more Thunder Shocks because I'll be here for a while. So anyways, I learned agility. I decided to go growl for it because it's agility. It's way better. I don't like I don't like abilities that lower the enemy uh, status. I would rather boost my own status because I'm selfish. <laughs> Anyways, uh, get into a fight with a uh, bug catcher, so I decided to use my Pidgeotto, who obliterates all of, all of the bugs because he's a boss. I accidentally click to open the menu. But anyway, so he just keeps using his gust ability, and they really don't have a chance. To be, to be honest with you, they, they just don't. So, um, yeah, Pidgeotto is going to level up here after finishing off this Metapod. It's going to be awesome. Um, I'm really hoping that he can learn some sort of great ability. I also need, um, Butterfree. Here, is it a Butterfree? No, it's still a Metapod. I don't remember. Uh, it might still be a metaphor. Nah, uh, uh, it's probably but I don't know. Anyways, so I, I, I still need that guy to learn some sort of use, useful move too. All, all he knows right now is tackle. And that doesn't make for very good fighting. So, um, anyways, take out this Zubat. None of these guys can really even do anything. I actually think Pidgeotto is better at fighting right now than uh, Pikachu is. So that's kind of weird. Um, anyways, here I'm exploring, I just want to make sure I fight all the trainers because they give you the most experience out of anyone. And I don't really feel like wasting a lot of time training in the bushes. So I go around and find all the trainers, kill all their attackers and bugs and whatnot. My boss like um, Pidgeotto, who is at the moment almost level 15. I'm hoping to get uh, Pikachu and Pidgeotto level 15. And then Metapod slash Butterfree thing level 10, and then just keep. I want to keep my um, Pidgeotto and Pikachu at least five levels higher because I don't. I really don't want to waste all that time. Anyways, I get a ton of money here from meeting all these trainers, so it's pretty cool. And um, get into another battle with Colton. He sends out Caterpie, and I send out. Ooh, it is Metapod. All right. Level 10 in the vault in the back here, so it's almost there. Alright, anyways, my level 9 uh, Metapod is, is a boss. He is a boss. He crits him, crits him, the other guy, he's a string shot, and he beats a guy higher level than him with half health, so that's pretty sweet. With tackles. <laughs> he's a really lucky Metapod. So he gets in the fight with the next guy, poison stings him. He gets poisoned, but my Metapod's a boss. So I tackle him back, and my shed skin cures my poison problem, which is pretty cool. Uh, just tackle him again, I'm pretty sure that was crit. My game, as I said, it's really skippy. But anyway, so take out this Weedle, losing 9 health, but another crit just to show off. Um, anyway, he gains 111 experience and levels up into level 10. Cures his status problem again, he's just a complete boss. Starts tackling the Caterpie to death. Caterpie tackles him back. He's at half of his original health, so he's gonna die in one more. The enemy still needs two tackles to die. I'm pretty selfish, so I just keep tackling him, and I do defeat him. Anyways, a Metapod evolves now into the Butterfree that I've been talking about. So now you won't get confused with all the things I say. Um. So yeah, Butterfree is a lot better. I still need to learn some useful abilities though, because 
one of the answers right now is pretty crappy. And also, he is now level 10, so I can go ahead and train other people. I was going to get Beach with a level 10 too, but he's really, really bad. This, this is about the point where I decide that I don't want to train Beedrill because he's just not worth it. So I go and heal up his Pokemon Center because I can. And start heading back up to where I was. Yep, right there. That's where I decide that Beedrill is useless. I switch into my Pikachu to take the lead. Uh, after going back up there, I found uh, another trainer. And this trainer is uh, Jigglypuff owner, so that'll be interesting. Um, yeah, he's level 14, so I'm thinking, thinking I'll get a ton of XP for this. Just easily taken down with some Thunder Shocks. So I do get 228 XP, which got me, I'd say, a third of a level. A third of a level, so that's, that's cool. Um, yeah, the thing that I think is weird is just how all these. Um, trainer girls look. And I'll explain that more in the description. But it's just really weird. Anyways, um, switch back into Butterfree because I want to catch this Zubat. Because that's what I decided I was going to do. Any Pokemon that is just sitting out and out in the open or whatever, like Pedro was, or Zubat is right now, I'm going to catch that one because it's important apparently. <laughs> but I'm not going to train most of them. I'm just going to train the main one. And I'm not, I don't think I'm going to catch anybody else unless I really, really want someone, but... So, anyways, I do catch this Zubat through use of, uh, sleep. And since it's also useless, I name it after the same guy. He had two, two accounts. Uh, one was SSJ for Kyuram and one was SSJ for Pikachu. So, I named that after him because he's useless and so is Zubat. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to try one more time to train Beedrill just against the random Pokemon in the cave. I mean, can't be that bad, can he? So anyways, I run all the way out there, and I make it almost to the trainer before I find a Pokemon. So that was pretty sweet. So, my Beedrill is really, really bad. He gets crit twice, I, th I think that was. Yeah. No, I don't remember. Um, anyways, he's got a super effective ability, and he's got poison. He got the poison luckiness, and he still lost the fight because he's useless. Right there, I could get free XP on anyone. So I probably should have got it on Zubat, but yeah, I don't feel like trying to Zubat. So anyways, um, this dude is a super nerd Jovan. He has a Magnemite. That shouldn't be much of a problem for my Pokemon. Um, I put it to sleep, and with my boss like Butterfree, I crit it again because I crit all the time. So yeah, I decided that my Butterfree was such a boss he could totally take on a Magnemite who's Steel Electric with only Tackle, which is not very effective, and Electric moves are like a one-hit kill on Butterfree. So I put him back to sleep, get him down to about half health, tackling him down get him almost to the red and he wakes up and uses uh, Thunder Shock. So good game Butterfree. Ouch. Um, well, I guess Butterfree is still alive, but I decided to chance it and use Sleep Powder and just keep it tackling and see if I could kill it, but no I can't because it does wake up and Thunder Shocks me again because jerks of Magnemites are jerks. So anyways, then I just go into my uh, Pikachu, finish it off. Just want to get that free XP on Pikachu. Um, so I go ahead and use Thunder Shock since that's my only offensive move. Well, besides Quick Attack, but no one likes Quick Attack. So Quick Attack does do more damage to Voltorb though than Thunder Shock. So I'm probably going to use that. Anyways, I do Perfect 10 with Pikachu, full health. Uh, Pikachu, and, Pikachu and Butterfree are both amazing. Pidgeotto is just like, who never loses any fight. But Pikachu and um, Butterfree win fights they shouldn't win. So um, beat that guy. I can. The thing about this cave is I run a really long ways without encountering Pokemon. Like I just made it all the way from that last trainer up to this one. It's a long ways. But anyway, so I get into the battle with him. Just take out his first guy, 
and just use my awesome Pidgeotto to take him out. See, I'm just trying to keep my Pidgeotto and Pikachu the same level. My Pikachu is level 16, so maybe it's about time I train my Pidgeotto. Especially because of what is going to happen later, I won't tell you that now. But anyways, so as I said before, I'm not going to waste my dust to my good abilities. I'm just going to use tackles on them, on them when they're low. And I didn't bring repels. I I don't buy repels. I think they're stupid. So um, I could just run from these guys, but I mean, if I can kill them in one hit, I might as well just do that. It takes about the same amount of time, and I would rather level up so I don't have to like train off screen later or something. So anyways, I get to a cool looking area that looks like it might be the end. And uh, so against Hecker Vlogs, he sends out his GOD. I'm like, alright, I got this. I got a Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto beat GOD, right? 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 Uh, the answer was no. They do not. Not even close. Maybe if I got a lot of crits or something. He just throws rocks at me and that kind of raffle stumps my Pidgeotto. So, after deciding that was a terrible idea and I'm down to just Pikachu, I'm thinking I might actually lose here. But, anyways, takes him out. Thundershock's on the sand tree who's just stand attacking me and being annoying. That's all enemies ever do. Do stupid things. They don't try to hurt me. They just want to waste all my power points so that I can't attack them. So, anyways, eventually I do land a uh, thunshot and take out the sand shirt. and I get to go exploring and I pick up that pokeball and it is TM 46 feet yeah just don't forget to get that rare candy it's like straight down right there uh, straight down from that ladder that's the most important thing in this cave um, the, it, there's three paths in this cave but the first one wasn't really that important so the one I didn't go on so it was just straight up from inside it it's not really that important, so I didn't bother going there. So just go in the one on the far right first, and then the one halfway in between, like go right and then up. Uh, and that is the correct way to go. But the weird candy was kind of important, and I decided to make that little pit stop. Anyways, I'm just trying to get out of this cave and with my Pikachu healthy because I really don't want to have to lose and end up losing money and all that stuff. So I'm just going to head on over to that Pokemon Center. You're not the Pokemon Center, just the guy out there that heals you, I guess. <laughs> so anyways, I'm um, just going to walk back up here, do that little squiggly path. I made it all the way up there without finding a single Pokemon. All the way to Team Rocket, no Pokemon. That's amazing. It's like I have a Pell on. There's not, I didn't pause it and put a Pell on, I promise. So anyways, just going to totally dominate these guys, right? Totally. Um, useless speed drill is useless. Just trying to do something useful. I think I was thinking I could poison him, and then maybe that would help. But then I remembered Ekans is poison, so you can't. And I got wrapped, so I couldn't really switch out or anything. So I'm just slowly getting whittled down to nothing by this annoying Ekans. Then that you can see why I don't play your third speed drill. So anyways. Just Sleep out of the Ekans and start tackling them to death with my boss like uh, Butterfree's level 10 versus his level 15 Ekans. Just obliterates it. Wait, he does wake up and he gets off a of poison thing. It kind of sucks, but you know, it's like, um, yeah, I'm, I was kind of surprised I could actually beat the Ekans with Butterfree, but I do. And I'm going to take on this coughing now, sleep out of him, and I'm just going to tackle him to death. I really need a new ability on on uh, Butterfree because tackle is just not cutting him. But anyways, uh, start whomping on that uh, coughing. He does wake up and gets off his poison gas which means I'm gonna die. That's what poison gas means. So that happens and then I send out Zubat just because and he's terrible and useless and all that good stuff. He gets dominated by that coughing as well. Um, 
I was just gonna send him out there just just because. You know, he needs action. And I want my good guys to actually have higher health. So I send in my Pidgeotto to try to take him out. And this coughing is just whomping on my team, but I do finish him off with uh, Pidgeotto. So that is great for me. Team Rocket Cohorts is their name. So they say they're going to give up and let me have the Moonstone, but I don't believe them. See, they said they'll be back. So anyways, I'm going to go heal up, because my Pidgeotto and Butterfree are low health. So I go talk to that boy, and he heals my Pokemon back up. And there I decide again, I'm, alright, it's just not possible to train this Beedrill. So I go back into my amazing Butterfree, and walk back into the cave. Alright, so, yeah, I made it all the way back out without encountering Pokemon, too. Which is so cool. I actually encountered them from, from like here on out, but I thought it was pretty amazing how far I made it several times without taking anything. So I got randomly poisoned from tackling him, which is annoying. Um, but it was kind of a failure in this fight. Level 11 and takes like half health from a level 7 Paris. That sucks. But uh, another tackle will finish it off, and I will take down that Paris. Um, that's all Paris is really good for, is just taking some sort of effect on you. So don't really worry too much about them. Plus, if I actually knew any good moves, I could probably kill it really fast. It is, uh, air moves are super effective, and Butterfree is part flying. So I just try to get into another battle as fast as I can before I take too much damage from Poison. So I can get some use out of this Butterfree. And I do get Poison down even lower. And I decide to stay in and tackle it. Because I'm going to die in a few steps anyways. So I get it down to red and die to Poison. And I get some experience on my Beedrill. First time ever. And he does get the lucky Poison on the second Rattata. So that is convenient. And I'm thinking here, and I'm thinking here, and I'm like, wow, Beedrill could potentially win this fight. Potentially. So I get him down into the yellow, I'm still in the green, he's poisoned, looking up for me, and it's not looking for me. So he takes me out, and I was thinking I could send in uh, Zubat here, and get some free XP just by hitting that Rattata a little bit. And if I couldn't kill it, Poison would always finish it off. So I do get a ton of experience on my Zubat. So that's nice for me. I decided to leave in my Zubat because, I mean, enemy Zubat, my Zubat, I actually know how to use abilities, so it makes a little bit of sense. So I don't beat this Zubat because I'm only level 7 and he's level 10. Um, my pause. I pause it a lot and it gets really confusing. So if any time the little screen pops up, that's what that is. So he's gonna take out my Zubat. I'm gonna I am gonna get into the yellow though. So I'm gonna have to resort to using my uh, Pikachu to be able to take him out. Otherwise I'm going to just So that I'm down to just two Pokemon for right now. In the next video will be showing you how to get out of Mount Moon. So pay attention for that and until then, peace out guys. Thank you.